cancer, the sugar that, be, that collard greens won't kill, but the white boy told you niggas you have to cook it. When you cook it, look, if you put one hand in the deep freeze and the other hand in boiling hot water, eat neither one of them no good. They are going to go run to Ron Arthur's. You ever seen them eat cook food? You ever seen them in the park see smoking? They cooking food and shit? You didn't even get it yet, bro? No, sir. No, no, because I'm not through yet. Uh, Ron, who, who about Who about Who about to go to? Corey Berger. Huh? Corey. Who? Corey Berger. He's the one who can't find Six-year-old grandchild to find that shit. Because they confused the scientists. But I want him, y'all, to hear what these white folks say. And Putin get to the white boy sued them in Manhattan. That's why I support them. You find the king. What's the name of that book again? Huh? The Africans. The Africans. Africa. You got your computer on your phone? Yeah. And who's your good name? Huh? Who's your honor? Harry Coleman. Yeah, Harry Coleman. You said it was Harry. 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 He's the one. You should have a Whatever you put in the computer will work. So you should, you can pull up on my Wikipedia. What'd you say, dude? I said I found him on Wikipedia. Yeah. Okay. Last name is spelled C O U R. It don't make no difference. If you got to write it, if you spell it wrong, you'll correct it. Harry Colander. Yeah. Oh, she got it. You got it? Yeah. Here, Rob, here. Here, here, here. Rob, Rob, here. I got it too. Just, 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 just say what it says there. It says Corlander wrote seven novels, his most famous being The African. Read it again, dear. Corlander wrote seven novels, his most famous being The African, published in 1967. The novel was the story of a slave's capture in Africa. His experience aboard a slave ship and his struggle to retain his native culture in the hostile new world. In 1978, Corlando filed suit in the U.S. District Court of the Southern District of New York. Louder, 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 louder. Go back to that. I want y'all to hear this. In 1978, Corlando. Louder, dear. In 1978, Corlando filed suit in the United States District Court of Southern New District of New York, charging that Alex Haley, the author of Roots, had copied 81 passages from his novel. Corlander's pre-trial memorandum and copyright infringement. Now wait, hold it. That white judge knew that Murray Fisher, the senior editor of Playboy magazine, wrote the lie. That judge, if you had time to keep on, you see what well, that fellow judge told them in court, tomorrow you bring a check in here for 600 thousand dollars and admit in my court that y'all stole it or y'all go to jail. Okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, dear. Keep on. The lawsuit <coughs> did not allege that the African no, The lawsuit did not allege that the African's plot was copied in its entirety as the two novels differ in many plot points. Entirely. The nigga didn't change nothing. <laughs> copied in huh? And y'all sitting here the greatest thing ever happened to niggas, the nigga didn't write. And you so out of it, you didn't know it. Corlander's novel depicts a successful revolt on a slave ship, a shipwreck, shipwreck in the French colony of Saint Denis. A fugitive life is escaped slaves, recaptured by French troops, and then transported to New Orleans in 1802. That's good. Enough. That's it. Tell them folks. Yeah, and then move up. Y'all teach that lie to your children and all that bullshit. That's all. I don't have no problem with you being ignorant, but no, you ignorant. That's how I got mine. I know I didn't know nothing about the white boy be tripping me. And all you do is protect yourself. If you got to jump out of the ocean, you can't swim, what you gonna do to protect yourself? What you gonna put on? Right, Jack. Huh? Right, Jack. Well, do the same thing with white folks. You'll protect and say he lying. Even if the crack is free, tell him you can lie. Hmm? That's all. And what hurts a motherfucker back, when a motherfucker tell you the truth, 
but he's carried himself in such a way that you won't believe. If I break 10 women, and I don't do that no more, but I've carried myself up here where I can't be trusted with women. That's all. Your past history, nigga, determines how you're going to be treated. That's what's called bad credit. This cracker got bad credit with me. I don't hear nothing you got to say. Nothing you got to say. Not you can't trick me. Can't trick me. So, so anyway, tonight, we will be there. What time? Doors open up at 6.15. And your tickets well. They can get them at the door. Huh? They can get them at the door. When they get you at the door. Yeah. I think I talked to you last night. Yeah. Yeah, you Yo, said you got to be called. Yeah, I got it. You most niggas don't got nothing to say. Say this. Oh, you better not be called. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. I got something to say, but you need to take it. You take it home and let your people come. Mm -hmm. So, in case I'm cool. What you say, I can't hear you. You settled the case out of court for six hundred. I can't hear you, baby. Brother, my ear. You settled the case out of court for six hundred fifty. I told you that. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you told me because let me hear that white one. Settled it out of court for six hundred and fifty dollars. What? Yes, sir. That's what he said. Okay. And made him admit that he lied. So again, we thank you for being here. Thank you.